with the squad. It's favorite auntie with Uncle Tennessee. Y'all know what it is. Sess Talk Sports presents now joining the conversation. I'm in the building with Coach Rowe, y'all. If it's your first time here, I need y'all to take a minute. Hit that subscribe button. It ain't even a minute, y'all. It's a couple seconds. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Like the video. Share the video. Get in the conversation. Each one invite 10. Let's, let's grow this thing. We in the building. Coach Rowe, what's good? You know, there's a lot of great basketball going on. For those that were in uh, in our live last night, it was a great time. Of course, that stuck around for quite some time, I'm sure, afterwards. But it was a great, great time. Um, not a lot of happy chat fam that was pulling for the sky. You know, I know they like to take shots because I said, what are y'all getting hyped about? But, <laughs> but it was still a good time. You know, so a lot, lot's going on. This is a good time. I mean, a lot of... A lot of teams are ramping up right now because the break is coming up soon for the Olympics. So we seeing teams change gears. I mean, we have some stuff going on. We got the one win team. It's a, it's a lot going on right now. Lots of surprises out here. Let's go. I'm here for it. Is that what you say, Seth? I'm here for it. I'm here for the competitiveness. I'm here for the game. Let's go. I'm here for it. Just a quick reminder, y'all, that, that all-star vote starts today, 2 p.m. Make sure you get out there and vote. Let's make let's make sure they know. Um you know who we who we who we think are the, are the all stars. Make sure that we uh, see the rep- representation that we want to see at the all star game. Is that's going to be like the last thing that we do before we get out of here for the uh, the Olympic break? So let, let's let's make sure we get we get started voting, y'all. And I think they said you can do double up voting starting on July sixteenth, but let's make sure that we vote. Mm-hmm. So with that, ski right, go ahead and get this. Uh, I think it's a uh, vote.wnba.com, I believe, or something like that to be able to get you to be able to get yeah. your vote in. So. Uh, make sure you're getting that done, y'all. Uh, and with that, let, let, let's go ahead and start this conversation, y'all. Let, let, let's start this conversation. So, uh, Coach uh, wanted to talk about the Las Vegas Aces and what's what's wrong. So, I'm here to answer the questions, Coach. Let's uh, let's hear what you got, what, what, what you're worried about. Okay. So, what I'm looking at is this. It's clear that Asia Wilson is – one of the most or the most dominant uh, scorer in the league right now. Um, She's leading the WNBA right now in points and rebounds. Right now, being perfectly honest with you, Asia Wilson seems like the only consistent piece on the Las Vegas Aces right now. Um, Now, I've heard a lot of, and this is just from our local chat fam, okay? And I'm just being transparent about the chat fam. I think the chat fam was being a little tough on Kelsey Plum. As far as like with her defense, Kelsey Plum, from what I've seen, is serviceable on defense. But right now, because of the injuries on the team, she's forced to do more scoring. So I guess it's almost like you have to pick which one is it going to be? Do do, do, do they want her to score more or do they want her to focus on defense? Because right now, the minute she's playing, it's almost impossible to put that much, exert that much energy on defense against let's call it what it is, probably the best, some of the, the most elusive players at the one, the two, and sometimes the three, because Kelsey's pretty strong. She checks some three sometimes. But, I mean, that's a that's a tough ask to have her have the output on the offense and defense to keep up with the level that, of game they're receiving every night from their competition. You said at the very beginning of the season, says when people see the Las Vegas Aces, they're circling that game. They're like, look, this is defending champs. You're going to get their best shot. So my first question to you is, how can they resolve this guard play? What do they need to do? Uh, I don't know that it's something that we really need to do other than get healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we got we got a uh, we got we got Chelsea coming back. Uh, she's questionable. Maybe gonna play tonight. So. You know, when you get the point guy back, J- Jackie Young's been sick for like about a week and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and Kelsey Plum is just isn't it consistent on defense. Mm-hmm. I mean, you say, what do we what do we mean? Do we want her to score more? Do we want her to play defense? We want her to do her job. Her job is to play on both sides of the ball. Asia Wilson don't get to take no time off on on no side on no sides of the ball. You got you got you got you got to come and, come and show out. Got got to show up and show out. Just like just like uh. Asia didn't didn't hold didn't hold Kelsey up and, and cussed her out. I don't know if you've seen that that clip mm-hmm. where where Kelsey actually say Asia cussed her out and told her to get her get, uh-huh. get her stuff together. 
Mm -hmm. She got to get her stuff together. Everybody got to get their stuff together. It looks like to me that Asia is the only one who came back ready to play. Like Asia is in playoff shape coming back this season. Um, mm -hmm. She's ready to go on both sides of the ball. She's going hard. Um, she's crisp. She doesn't look rusty. Uh, she, you know, she came back ready. So everybody else got to catch up where she's at. You know, the other thing that hurt us is that Candace Parker, we expected Candace, we expected Candace to be here. Uh, it's unfortunate that she's not. Uh, people I, I know are going to be like, well, since we won last year without her, but no, we didn't. We won last year without her on the floor. We don't know. You know, you, you, you really discount what you get from Candace Parker in, in huddles and timeouts and practices in Candace, just being Candace and reaching out and talking hoops. Um, you know, you, you, the people I think don't realize the difference, what a difference maker she is, what a difference maker a Chelsea Gray is on, on the floor. Uh, Jackie Young, 40, 40 minutes a game. It's not sustainable. So, mm -hmm. so those are all the things that we have to fix. Elizabeth Kidley, we, we plan to have her uh, on hold. Uh, Stokes has to be able to give us something. Sid, Sid Colson has been, been inconsistent. Mm -hmm. You know, these what? are all things. These are all things that you can't be if you're trying to go for a three piece. Some people could just be tired. They played a whole lot of basketball in the last two seasons. Can't make any. I can't make any excuses though because we came in talking about we wanted a third one. And so for me, I think uh, the confusion for me is that people didn't come back ready to play. Like they should have came back. <clears throat> I felt like in shape. How like where Asia's at right now? Because you've already come back and tried to repeat. So you know how hard that is. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, and maybe it's just that uh, some of the leadership just is lacking there uh, with just Asia being there and, and Chelsea not being on the floor. Mm -hmm. Kate Martin is there and making a great contribution. Uh, Dice Shaffir didn't work out. Tiffany Hayes is trying to get get acclimated, you know. But we, you know, we need people to uh, we need people to be able to be consistent. Uh, I think that's important for for us. Uh, Okay. Megan, Megan Gustafsson, uh, she, you know, she's got to make up her mind. Do you want to be a force or do you want to be a bench rider? Like you, she, she's got to, she's got to be consistent as, as the next big behind Asia. Like we can't afford to have a, a, a total drop off uh, when Asia, when Asia leaves the floor. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I guess I think with that, I think I, I think I covered this one. Everybody in McKinnon, we, you know, we want her. You know, she's playing ball and she played about three minutes the last game, but. You know, you, you can't be on the floor 19 minutes and only give me two points as, as a big. Like, you mm -hmm. can't do that. Mm -hmm. So. Well, no, uh, I, I'm glad yeah. you touched on that. You know, I like to look at the lineups. I like to look at lineup breakdowns. And right now, um, 13 minutes a game, you have Clark, Stokes, Plum, Wilson, and Young. But interestingly, there's a huge drop. And I haven't seen this. Well, I have not seen this big of a drop on many teams. The next lineup, only seven minutes a game, is Clark. Hayes, Plum, Wilson, and Young. So you mentioned Stokes. What's the assessment on Stokes? What's going on with Stokes? She's never she's never really been a she's never really been a scorer like that. She's always been able to be able to kind of just rebound and defend, and that's okay, but it doesn't work now. Mm -hmm. Good take. Uh the other thing is that uh, you know, quite frankly, I think we miss Hamby. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate the way that that went. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. lost somebody else uh, early last season that maybe would have made a difference. Uh, what is her name? Rakeena, Rakeena Williams? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think we lost her uh, last season. Uh, <clears throat> pretty kind of early in the season, if I, if I remember correctly. So, you know, you know we're getting to know each other. It's 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 a new, it's a new season, but no excuses. Like we gotta go to work. Mm -hmm. we, we have to go to work. We the last on eight, eight, eight ball. And it's, a lot of, it's a lot of hoops. It's a lot of it's a lot of teams playing a lot of good basketball right now. Mm -hmm. um, the one good thing that's going for us is that our pretty much our starting five is getting ready to go to uh, the Olympics. So you know they're going to get an opportunity to practice together, to play together, to to maybe get into a rhythm. So. And last thing on the lineup, I like I like to break these down. So I'm, I'm I did a breakdown of first quarter, first quarter lineup: Clark, Stokes, Plum, Wilson, Martin. Um, five minutes, 
they averaged 18 points, and this is just the first quarter. One thing that I've noticed is teams are jumping on the aces early. They're jumping on them early. First, second quarter, they pick up steam out. It's, it's like I've saw in three of their four losses, it was almost like in the third quarter they woke up, but it was too late. The lead was was it, it was insurmountable. Um. So just last question for you: What are your thoughts on like how the first quarter is being handled? No, just the first quarter being handled by by by, by a coach right now. I don't <clears throat> I don't particularly have a problem with how how, how the schedule how how uh, coach is handling the the, the lineups. Um, right now, what, what, I, what we have the biggest issue with is defense. For me, is the defense. So I think we're just trying to find, figure out what the lineup is, is that, that works for us right now. Um, mm-hmm. And like I said, Asia's cooking, and we need, you know, we try to find whoever, we try to keep whoever's cooking with her. Jackie Young's been playing about 40 minutes a game. Uh, uh, Kelsey's had to play some forty-minute games, um, so there, there, there's that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I think that makes the I think that makes the biggest difference. Mm-hmm. So, all right, all right. So they're sitting at is it five and five right now? Five yeah, and five. Five hundred. Uh, how are they? How are they? What's their record at the All Star break? Thoughts? Uh, let's see the schedule. <clears throat> let's see, let's let's see the schedule. Hold on one second here. I'm gonna pull it up too. Uh, let's see. Let's, I'm gonna pull up the Aces. Uh, all right. High previous games. So, okay, we got the big showdown Saturday, of course. They got the Liberty. That's a win or a loss. And they're at home. Oh, we Liberty. Beat the Liberty. We'll beat the Liberty. You heard me. You heard me. I mean, we'll, we'll beat, we're gonna beat the Liberty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to beat the Liberty. I meant that. Okay. I know you want <clears throat> I know you wish to give me liberty or give me death. I know you want to hear something different, but yeah, no. Uh, no, okay. I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect you to just flat out say, okay, they're gonna lose, but I would expect some thought because we talked about that's why I asked you about the Minnesota game. Now, do I think it was more Minnesota being good that beat the Aces? No, I don't. But I think that Minnesota followed the blueprint of the other four teams that beat the Aces, which is we're going to pack the paint and we're going to make the guards work harder. And that's why I mentioned Stokes. Have you noticed how open Stokes has been, like you mentioned? Those rotations, I don't think it's a coincidence that they're allowing her to have some freedom, you know, to do things. So, all right, back to the schedule. So you said they'll beat uh, Liberty. Of course, I disagree um i know you then they have the seattle so you, so you skipped phoenix wait, wait i did oh i'm sorry my we apologies play, we, play, we play phoenix tonight yeah, we gonna my beat them apologies too. my apologies you go to phoenix tonight and we're gonna beat them you're gonna beat them mm-hmm. okay is that a dangerous game for the vegas Mm-mm. no not at all okay no because we are we lost three in a row it's, it's time for a win we gotta quit playing Okay. All right. So matchup wise, Phoenix wants to do what Las Vegas has shown they're not able to do in their losses, which is run. Phoenix wants to run. They want to run all game. First two quarters, they're going to try to run the score up. Like they're going to shoot a lot. Who's going to deal with copper? Like who, who's who's gonna well well let me say this who's gonna match copper? It has to be Asia. Okay. Or, or <clears throat> oh no, you know if Chelsea plays, we're gonna see. Okay, that's fair. All right. So you got to beat Mercury tonight. Okay, and they're in Phoenix. Looks like. 
Uh, and just, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I like to give odds just because they popped up here. Phoenix is giving six, six and a half points in that game. That's interesting. That's in, that's interesting. Okay, you said New York Liberty coming to Vegas. Prime to now, I'll say this: it's a prime time game. I can see the Las Vegas saying, "You know what? This is our home. We beat New York Liberty. We got to remind y'all who we are." I get that, but there's two sides to every coin. I see the Liberty saying, "You know what? <laughs> we still hurting <laughs> off that loss. Y'all are wounded. Y'all are wounded now." Let's try to kick them while they down. I think that the performance of the Vegas Aces in the Liberty game, and this is not a uh, what you call it, an oxymoron, is going to totally depend on how they play tonight. Okay. If they, I, I, I yeah, if they if they cruise and beat down Phoenix, I think we have a very 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 competitive game. If Phoenix pulls off an upset. Vegas is going to play like this is game seven. <laughs> we will game five. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So now we got, uh, okay, you said Seattle. We didn't say, what about Seattle? Seattle's coming to Vegas. We. They got to get their lick back because Seattle popped them, right? We okay. just lost three in a row. It ain't even about lick back. We have to stack some wins up. We got to get, we got to get, we got to get ourselves moving in the right direction. We have 500. Hey, Seth, not to be losing no games. Let me tell you something, Seth. This might be one of the toughest stretches. Yeah, and it is. So who Vegas, are we? Vegas, Vegas, I'm going to show you. Seattle. Then you got the sun after Go that on Go Friday. Set Go set them. <laughs> set them. Then you go to the sky. Sorry. This going to be the first. This going to be the first. This going to be the first thriller. This is gonna be the first thriller Asia matchup. Okay, all right. Okay, says so okay. Okay, you saying all wins. Win. Okay, you saying all wins. Let me weigh in. Okay, let me let me let me let me get my way in. Phoenix. I think you eke out a victory. Very close. Very close game. Eke it out. New York Liberty, I think you lose that game hands down. I think New York Liberty coming there. This is a statement game. They watch the news. Hey, they watch us talk sports. <laughs> they like, hey, okay. Seattle Storm, eat, you're going to eat that game out. You owe them a lick back. Connecticut Sun versus Vegas, you lose that game. Connecticut Sun has a lot of length to throw at Asia. And that's really all they're going to worry about in that game is Asia. They're not worried about anybody else. They got a lot of bodies and files to give up to Asia. So Chicago Sky. So they, so they won't be worried about Chelsea. Who? Okay. The Connecticut. Okay. Oh, absolutely. But but whoa, 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 whoa. Chelsea's just coming back. But by, by the time if Chelsea plays tonight, by the time we play at Connecticut, that'll be our fourth game back. But says Chelsea playing at the level that we know she is. How, how, just, do know, how do we know Chelsea ain't being practiced? No, no, I hope she does. Let me be clear. I hope she does. I, I, everybody, I want to see the best Las Vegas team, okay? But that's my mm -mm, – I I I, I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Vegas versus Sky, that's a win. Vegas versus (laughs) – Versus the Mystics. Now, here's what Las Vegas better not do, okay? I'm going to look in the camera. Las Vegas, do not treat this game as a rehab game. Sitting players that's been – you know, you're going through – you're going through the grinder – don't look at this game like, hey, we can chill, we can rest because the Mystics stink. The Mystics may very well still be at one win when they play them, okay? But please do not play with the Mystics by sitting players. But I think that's a win, an easy one. Indiana to Las Vegas, that's a win. They gonna, they gonna, I think they're going to they gonna pile that one on. And then the Mystics again, that's a win. Las Vegas versus the Sparks. In Los Angeles, night game, 10 o'clock. Well, always. Thoughts on that game, says Vegas versus the Sparks. They could very Vegas, well. Vegas don't want their lick back. They could very well be coming off of a three win, four game win streak when but now they play Vegas. Vegas is going to want their lick back. 
Rakia closed out with seven. Rakia closed out with seven on them. They lost by four at LA. They coming back to try to get their lick back. And what I want you to think about about New York coming in, uh, coming in Las Vegas. Remember the last time we was at home, we let somebody put a hundred on us. We gonna be it's gonna be about protect this house uh, when y'all come there on Saturday. But I digress. Go ahead. But hold on, Seth. The Las Vegas game is a back to back. I mean, I'm sorry, the Los Angeles game. They got the Mystics. Then they go to Los Angeles, which isn't a big trip for them, but that's a back-to-back game. Still, still the same, back-to-back. I'm interested in seeing what the Los Angeles Sparks, is that after their rest? Do they have a couple games off? Okay. Dallas Wings versus Las Vegas, that's a win. I mean, that's, you know, a lot of shots being put up by uh, Agumawale. I think Agumawale goes for almost 40 in that game. I think that's going to be a classic battle between Asia and, and Aguma Wild, just as far as scoring. It'll be entertaining. Um, it's 3 o'clock. It's on ESPN. It's in Vegas. The lights will be on. I think that'll be entertaining, but Vegas wins that one. <laughs> then Ve- Vegas to the storm. Vegas to the storm next. Lights on. 3 o'clock game. That's a win? Win? <laughs> Come on, Sanchez. You can't. You know, you know, are they gonna lose any games, Seth? They gonna go. They gonna win all their games. We don't have to lose. How many games? We, how many games did we win in a row last season? Like oh. you act like we wasn't putting together like 10, 12 wins in a row. Like I'm not saying nothing that we haven't done. Well, how many games did we lose last last season? Six. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, it was six. It so was six. Point God coming back. Point God coming back. Tiffany Hayes figuring it out. J J J Yo getting getting healthy. Somebody going to somebody go somebody's gonna go to the bench, right? Kate Martin coming along. That's a lot to happen, Seth. It was a lot to happen last year. It was a lot to happen last year, but But it happened. I don't don't, Seth, I don't think that's fair to hold them to the standard of last year. Last year may never be repeated the way they were on a tear. They're the on, they, I, I push back on that because they're on a repeat tour, which means they're trying to do exactly what they did last year. So six six losses, they went on a tear. AJ is hurt. AJ, AJ is hurt. Okay. All right. That would be that's like me saying that I believe that she's anything less than the best player in the no, world. No, no, no. She said no, I don't it know. Is. That, it is. No, that would be like me being that. like this. This is the same thing as this is just like you asked me. Uh, can Michael Jordan? Can Michael Jordan go win? Go go put these these wins together? Absolutely. I can't wait till the chat fan watch it. Says don't stop doing it. Don't 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 stop spending stuff. We talking about? <laughs> don't do that. Okay. All right. Can we move on? We got can a few we come more. Up, no, no. Say what you was gonna say. We talking no, about what? No, no. I'm, I'm just here's the thing. Because I, I think he was gonna tell me don't compare AJ to Michael Jordan. Come no, on. Talk no, to no, 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 no. What I was gonna say was. We started this conversation. I said Asia Wilson is the everything for the team. We agree on that point. And she I told you that the, the point, and I told team. you, and I told you that the point guard is coming back. But will she be the point guard through she's this stretch? Point. That's all I'm saying. She's the point guard. Okay. All right. And no, I would never speak on that a comparing. Come on she, now. She, we had she's the point guard. That would be like me saying that she's anything less than a point guard. Until I see something different, Chelsea Gray is going to be Chelsea Gray. Okay. All right. So we, we you said they beat Seattle in Seattle. Now we got the dream, the NBA and ATL. <laughs> so that's a, that's a two-game rest, all right? But they're on the road. So they go from Seattle to Atlanta. I'm looking at travel. Okay. Uh, they got Then they go to the Mystics. That's another travel game. That, that should be a win. Then the Sky come to Vegas. The last game before the break. Sky come to Vegas. Win. Win. Okay. So Win. you okay. Win. We so you don't have them. Lo- so you so you're saying right now. And we done losing. We done losing. We done lost five games. We done so with they, that. Okay. So 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 and I'm just I just want to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So you're about to go on a 14 game win streak. Might as well. <laughs> might, might as well. Okay, I mean, it, well just, it, it would just it would just it would just add to the historic 
that the historic season that that uh, Asians are already having. Surely need a little help. Surely need a little help. We you go back and look at these losses, right? Mm-hmm. By four, Chelsea can make that up. Uh, let's see, Minnesota game we, we got blew out, seventy eight sixty five. 13, I still think we could have overcome that against Seattle. Atlanta, we lost by four. They woke up late in that one. They woke up late in that one. Uh, Phoenix, we lost by 10, but I still think uh, Chelsea in the building, we win that game. So They gave too big of a deficit. That was Those three that you just mentioned, I'll give it to you. Those were very winnable games. In one of these games, I don't even remember which one it was. <clears throat> we had the nerve to have a 12-point quarter. So – you know, all of those things change with the point guard, with the point guy coming back. Like I'm not, I'm not confident in my team. Like, yeah, there we go, fourteen in a row. Mm-hmm. Asia gonna drop a fifty ball in one of these. And I'll say this: and what's interesting is they only had one back to back. That's what I was checking while you were uh, talking about that. They only had a one back to back game. So hey, it's, I mean, when it, uh, they got the Mystics, and then the next day they had the Sparks. That's the only back to back they have. I'm looking at the time. So, I mean, they got about, what, Sash, you played the game before. Both games at 10 o'clock. So, they got about, what, maybe six hours of rest total when you count practice and everything. Okay. It's doable. They got, they're not going to practice like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, they're going to, you know. But remember, hey, chat fam, when you watch this, do not play and sit your good players against the Mystics. Don't play. I'm just saying, that's one of them trap games, especially – you know they're gonna be up for if for Indiana. They got Indiana before that. They're gonna be up for that. They're gonna be up for that. July second, Las Vegas. People are gonna be on vacation. It's gonna be a sold out house. They're gonna they're gonna throw everything but the kitchen sink at Indiana. Chef him. The part that he forgot in all of this mm-hmm. was that Becky said it was her fault for sitting Asia in the fourth quarter in games that was blowouts that she didn't get her MVP. So she ain't doing that this season. She going for that MVP. So, yeah, we not sitting nobody. We 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 playing basketball. Go ahead though. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we, no, yeah, we, no. We, we hooping. I'm we hooping. I just wanted to, I just wanted to look at it because again, as I just to recap, I mean, I'm stating the obvious. We know the guard play because of the injuries is what's what's holding them back. Um, we also know that what I what I stated before. As far as like when they put Asia on the move, well, she's already unguardable one on one, but teams figured out, hey, look, you know what? With these injuries, there's not a lot of knockdown guaranteed shooters on this team. Let's pack it in. Watch how much, watch how much more efficient Kelsey Plum is when when Chelsea get on the floor with the Rock. Yeah, because it because now watch, it, how, watch, watch how our shot watch our shot selection improve. Because yeah. right now, is it fair to say, Sash? Right now, in the state that they're in. Kelsey's kind of like the makeshift point guard from the games I've seen. She's doing a lot of ball handling out there, a lot of ball handling. But that's where I don't think it's really fair. Plum I don't dog think doing, Plum Dog doing a lot. Yeah, that's why I say, but it's not Plum fair. It was like she's Plum doing a, doing a lot. Plum she's handling the ball around. Around, she's still hitting the board. She's doing all this, and it's like, well, she got to play better defense. I get that, but I mean, she's out of her comfort zone. I don't know. I just she's she doing too much in some situations too. But maybe I'm sentimental to Kelsey Plum just because, I mean, she's one of my favorites. Yeah, well, Lisa Plum, dog millionaire, but she got to get under control. But, you know, Angel's averaging 28.3, 11.4, 2.6, 1.9, 2.7. Mm-hmm. She was 50 from the field, 42 from three, 84 from, from uh, the free throw. So, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, you get the point guy back, get Chelsea, get 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 uh, Kelsey back in her in her regular role, get J.O., Mm-hmm. Uh, some breathers. You, you got Tiffany Hayes in there that's gonna be coming in. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with where we at. We gonna we gonna we gonna play some solid some solid basketball down down the stretch into the uh, into the Olympic break, and then we'll be back on a vengeance. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. So, I'll uh, I'll be a little more uh, specific on my thoughts as far as their record, and I'll uh, get that out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so now you said, how did the Mystics beat the Dream? What, what do you want to talk? What, what we got? We got there. How did the Mystics beat the Dream? What you got there? I was just curious as what your thoughts were on. I mean, how did that happen? Um, you look up at that game, and it's it's. 
at one point, it looked like the same old mystics. And then you look at the box score, and, and this is what's, what's a little disturbing. So, okay, let's, let's start with Atlanta. Howard has 16 points. Powers had 13 points. Charles had 12. Everybody else a single digits after that. Gray had nine. Coffee eight. Parker four. Okay, now let's look at Washington. Washington, hit what's interesting about this game is that this is what Washington has been doing all season. They don't have anybody that's dropping 30, 40 points. Atkins had eight, 19, 18, I'm sorry. Sykes had 18. Van Lu had 11. Hines had nine. Walker Kimbrough had eight. Now, my initial thoughts on this, on how Washington beat Atlanta, they made the game ugly. They made it an ugly game. Um, and Atkins and Sykes, well, mainly Atkins, kind of controlled this game. Now, isn't it interesting, Seth, Sykes only played 14 minutes in that game but had 18 points. Um, not really sure what that was. Mm-hmm. No personal fouls. 14 minutes, 18 points. But what was interesting is that it looks like uh, Washington went with the bigger lineup. So you had Atkins, Van Lu, um, Hines Allen, Dolson and Walker uh, Kimberl in there, kind of controlling this game. They played the most minutes. Dolson was eating. She 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 had seven points and five rebounds, but her impact on that game, just watching it, she was in the middle of everything as far as like under the rim. Like it was one of them games where you was looking like, hold on, <laughs> how they get that loose ball? How they get this? Like the hockey assist, she was doing a little bit of everything. The stats didn't really show. She had seven, five, and two. But she had two blocks, um, shot 33% from the field. But here's the thing. This is this is how Washington is so unorthodox. Dawson at center was two for three from the three-point line. So it's like, you know, it, they made the game kind of ugly. And they, they just kind of lulled Atlanta to sleep. No, <laughs> no pun intended. The dream. <laughs> it, it was a dream. Um I don't even know if they load them to sleep. Atlanta didn't have a 20 point quarter in this yeah. game. They didn't, yeah. have, they didn't have a 20 point quarter. Yeah. Uh, you, you look here, Ryan Howard, 16. Right. Tina Charles, 12. Right. Powers, right. maybe 13. Yeah. Washington. Nobody, 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 had, nobody, had, a, nobody right. had a positive plus right. minus on the floor. Right. Uh, and again, I, I keep saying, you know, um, what what is it that they do good? Who is it that when it's the end of the game, it's time to go take this thing over and take us home? Who gets it done? But says Washington had a 13-point second quarter and still beat them by almost 20 points. Look at the other quarters they had. They had a 25-point yeah. quarter. They had a 26-point yeah. quarter. They had a 23-point yeah. quarter. Washington was shooting that thing. Yes, period. Was. Period. They were shooting that thing. So yeah. – when you look at when you look at the dream, you got you got six of fourteen. That's not so bad. Three of ten, ah, uh, uh, one of four, three of eleven, two of six. That hurts. Well, he, here's what it is. is. Here's what Washington did. And this is how they're dangerous. Seventeen of thirty-one from the three-point line. Absolutely, fifty-four percent. Atlanta was eight for twenty-three. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Uh. As a matter of fact, check this out, says Atlanta took more took more shots than Washington. Yeah, of they course they did. 67 shots. They shot 35% for the game. Rebounds, Washington 38, Atlanta 32. Assists, Washington 25, Atlanta 16. Unacceptable, Dream. Thanks, Dream. Thanks, Dream, for trying to play one-on-one basketball. This is what happened, says, and again, I keep deferring. You played the game on a much higher level than the many people have played. Okay. This is one of those games. I'm going to get my numbers. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to score. I'm going to get my Washington stinks. 
You got hit in the mouth in the first quarter, was in shock. Oh, they're not going to keep making shots. They're not going to keep making shots. You know how they did it? They played possum in the second quarter with the 13 points. Because remember, we was watching that game. I said, oh, here we go. I jumped in the chat. No, nah, nah, Washington going to lose. Washington going to lose. Washington came out in the third quarter and punched him in the mouth again. And Atlanta never got up. They still- at, this point, at this point, I have to wonder, at 5-5 five and five and 2-4 and four at home, if there isn't something going on in the locker room. Or right. Like- right. Exactly. So that, that's where I'm, I'm. That's where I'm at. There, it's, you know, what's is there something going on in the locker room? Um, it, they don't seem really fit. It seems like they got ball players and not a team. Right. I'm not, I'm not liking the rotations. Um. So, so for me, Atlanta need they have, they they need a a makeover. Well, and like you said, and it's crazy because I was liking what they was doing, but right, it turned into a. It just it, it, it turned into uh, inconsistency mm-hmm. and no, no identity. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. nobody either. Nobody even really stepping up to try to be the leader. I don't think either. No, that's why it's like uh, you know who who whose team is it, and then does the coach need to make a decision, or or you know should the team make a decision? But either way, uh, we need some leadership there. Right. Exactly, and it's like I don't know. I just we. I was skeptical on them. You you brought some things to light to me because you was like, hey, you started talking about some of the moves. I wasn't aware. I'm like, nah, they're going to stink this year. You're like, nah, they're doing something. They're building. You know, they like a couple players away from really doing something. Started out that way. So their lineup that averages 17 points at right around eight and a half minutes is Charles, Parker, Tyus, Gray, Howard, and Jones. That's their go-to lineup. Mm-hmm. 17 points. minutes a game. That's what they're doing right now. They start dropping again. Here's another drastic drop. They go from 17 to 9 points with the lineup being Charles, Parker Tyus, Powers, Gray, and Howard. So who was that that's sitting down? Gray. No. That's uh, when, hmm. when Jones sits down, they drop off dramatically. And but you know they're also missing Jordan Canada, right? So they got they got Jordan Canada out with the with the hand injury. So I don't know how much that how much that hurts him. Okay, okay. Let let, let, let me cut right through it. Could this have possibly cost Atlanta Dream Coach their job to lose to a, a winless team? Could this? Have, I mean, like right now, I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about like, could this have cost the coach their job? by losing to the Mystics. The Mystics, no disrespect to any Mystics fans that watch watch the show, the Mystics stink. They're a dumpster fire. They're horrible. And you- I disagree. Okay. I disagree. I don't think that the Mystics are a bad team. I I, I think that the Mystics need to figure it out. I think the Mystics have some players that are out. I think the Mystics hurt themselves by uh, drawing a line in the sand with Elena Deladon, but I don't think that they're a bad team. Okay. Okay, let's add, let's do this. I'm glad you said that. All right, Seth. How many games does Washington win this season? Want to do over and under instead? Instead of coming with a number? Can, can I give you over and under? Okay. I think they can win 16, 17 games. I think Washington is figuring it out. I think Washington has been in a lot of games that they've been playing. I, I, I hear you with you with the with the not believing, but I, I think that they I think they got to figure some things out. Says, yeah, I'm listening. Sixteen or seventeen games. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why, why not? Why, why not? The reason why I'm going to say why not is because. I truly think that right after the Olympic break, there's going to be teams that are like maybe two, three games out of contending to be in the playoffs. It's going to ramp up even more. It's going to ramp up even more again. I mean, I mean the teams are going to, they're going to be going for it, especially in the East right now, the East. I mean, it's a two-headed monster right now. Connecticut and New York. 
I mean, that's that's kind of like, but you got like a, it's a log jam when you, after them, after them, it's a log jam. So it's like, like right now you got, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me do it by. So, so half of the games that they lost, they lost by single digits. True. Half of the games they lost, they lost in single digits. You had, you got, uh, here you have Brittany Sykes day to day. And then you got Shakira Austin out. Right. So okay. they got, they got people that are out so they, they can get healthy. Uh, Indiana, they can be. Uh, they already beat Atlanta. How many more times are they gonna play them? Yeah, I'm looking at that now. So right now, it's like I said, it's a two headed monster right now. Connecticut, New York at the very top. You got Atlanta and Chicago. Well, really, technically, what is that? Uh, one and a half games. I hate when they do this. Five and five, four and seven. Then you got the fever at three and ten. Those three teams are going to, I think, ramp it up after the Olympic break. I, I think, but I think also that Washington will ramp it up. I think that the team, that team was in the, they were in the ball game with New York. New York was a winnable game. They should be two. They should be two and ten right now instead of one and twelve. Okay, oh, sorry, two, they should be two and eleven. All right. All right. The team That's that fair. played against New York, they was in that game. They stayed within four for the majority. I agree of the game. with that. As soon as they went down, down five, it, it was like, dang, okay, yep. they're not gonna be able to recover right here. That's a great so call. They should be. They should be. They should have two games right there. Okay. So if New York is the it of what's going on in the W, then that means that they can play with any team on any night, and that's without Deladon. You look at this team. Um, are they gonna? Will they try to make a move with Deladon b- before the b- before the trade deadline to bring in to bring in somebody to play with Aaliyah Edwards? Like this is not a bad, bad basketball team. I think that do would be need, very wise. Do they, need a, do they need a new coach? Has the coach lost the locker room? I mean, you know, I don't know what the issue is in, in Washington. Is it is it is it locker room? But like I said, what I saw on the floor isn't a bad basketball team. They they missing a few players and. They're a young team, and they're trying to play through a rookie who has no idea how to t- how to, how to be a WNBA professional. That's so, true. so for me, it's better in leadership that they might need to get in there. Uh, they may need to pick up, you know, somebody who's not on the roster right now. But you know, I like I said, you know, I, they, I, I said they can win, they can win some of these games. Okay. They got Indiana. They got Indiana at least twice. They got Atlanta at least twice. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got New York again. Who they're gonna try to play them again? They're gonna try to play New York really tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, they're gonna play Las Vegas stuff. Phoenix is up and down. Mm-hmm. You got Phoenix in there twice. Uh, a, a good battle, a good some good battles against Chicago, probably so. Aaliyah Edwards had, had never played against uh, Angel Reese before, I don't think. So, I mean, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I give them opportunity. I give, mm-hmm. I give them a shot to, to, to win some of them games. Okay. So I know we uh, we were going to talk about. I think we kind of talked about the uh, sun versus sky enough. What do you think? Um, just to kind of, I mean, that game came down to, uh, quite frankly, watching it live. Everybody but Reese and and, and Camilla stopped playing defense after the second quarter. It, it was a race to the rim. Nope. I mean, how many uncontested shots? Did Connecticut get just going straight to the rim? I couldn't believe it. I mean, even in transition, you could see the frustration on 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 on, uh, on, on Coop's face. She was very frustrated. And um, if I recall correctly, one of the chat, I think I I think I tuned in. Um, somebody was kind of going in saying, "Well, what's up with what's up with what's up with the coach? What's up with coach?" And I'm like, I was agreeing with you. Hold on, how do we know coach isn't in their face, nose to nose, letting them smell what type of you know? Breath mint she has in her mouth to get them going. What is she supposed to do when you got experienced backcourt that you don't want to quote unquote disrespect with the new players? You get to your point about Kennedy Carter probably needs more time. You got to balance that. Coaching is about balancing personalities. You got a rookie that's come in and pretty much right now, from what I'm seeing, Angel Roy Reese is right now the leader of that team. Did you catch oh, yesterday? Did you catch yesterday? Did you see her fussing at the shields on that turnover? 
Mm-mm. Towards the end of the oh, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, see Angel chirping up. I know, so, I know Angel getting comfortable. So, 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 so let's be fair about it, everybody. That that's not fair to come after the coach with a team that's kind of got you, you know. I think they're doing fairly well at four and seven right now, which they could easily be five and five. They could easily be five and five right now. Their lack of experience stepped up and showed up in some of those games toward the stretch. And they just kind of, you know, it was it was brain freezes. You know, it was throwing the ball away. You know, silly fouls. That's something that's going to plague them. The silly fouls are going to plague them. They get a lot of unnecessary fouls. Unfortunately, that followed, to me, both Angel and Camilla into the pros. They make a lot of silly fouls, in my opinion. The reaching, you know, stuff like that. Angel has quick hands. She's getting 50-50 on those. I think once the league figures out how good she is with her hands one-on-one, they'll stop blowing the whistle on those because some of those look like, hey, that was a clean rip, but it's so fast. It's like, you know what I'm saying? So what'd you say? I said, mm-hmm. yeah. So um, I just don't think it's fair to come at, come at the coach. Uh, what, what is she supposed to do? I think she's doing well to have them at four and seven right now. Um, but that game to me last night kind of personified a lot of Chicago season. They play off of emotion, but you can't play off emotion with only two of the players two of your most emotional players, one of them was on the bench, Kennedy Carter. She wasn't even on the floor. So it's yeah, like, I'm pushing, but I'm pushing back on that. I'm pushing what? back on I'm pushing on back what? on coach. I'm pushing back on coach. Kennedy Carter needs to be starting. Kennedy Carter is it you you can't you can't put so you you you're trying to use Kennedy Carter like we use Malaysia for Wiley. Mm. Mm. Malaysia for Wiley could come off the can, can come off the bench and be the spark. Because we have veterans who know how to score and keep us keep that's us keep us close. That's, that's a to great get the, to get the game started. Mm-hmm. You have a Kennedy Carter on there, then you got some. Then you give your rookie some some confidence. If nothing else happens, I know Kennedy can go get a bucket. So what what is it about, Seth? Seriously, because I heard you talking about this last night. And again, we're not we don't have any behind the scenes. We don't know any any. What do you think it is? Oh, I'm 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 not sure. I I know that it's I don't know. I know that it's Dana Evans is not a a, a starting point guard. I keep saying that. I know I sound like a broken record. Uh, Izzy probably needs to be doing some starting. Kennedy Kennedy needs to be doing some starting. But the core of this team needs to be Kennedy, Camilla, and 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 Angel. So Seth, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Is it possible? that Kennedy's fiery attitude is in practice and coach is like, you're not running it here. You need to do what I tell you. Is that possible? I'm only saying, is it possible? I mean, it is possible. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, so I don't, I don't know that I see a fiery attitude from Ken, from, from Kennedy. What fiery attitude? Have you no, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, no, I'm just going off of, you know, and maybe that's my error on how the media spent the whole, situation i'm not even going to speak on that because this is about a skilled player that should be on the floor more um i mean kennedy kennedy had some 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 situation she went away to turkey she came back i think that she's i think that she's shown that she's a grown she's she's grown as a player i think that she wants to play really bad i think that she wants to be able to contribute i think that she feels a chemistry out there with with camilla and, and angel and you want to let this thing grow organically and the best way to do that is to let them be on the floor together and I think um, we've seen situations where 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 uh, Spoon has has taken them out and, and, and seemingly to keep them from fouling out. But you know, it doesn't cost you anything to foul out. So who cares? Who cares if they foul out? Especially if you're just gonna leave them on the bench so they don't foul out. Let them get out there and get the experience, especially in games that you're losing anyway. Okay, so so here's my question: What are the starting guards doing? Again, what do you think it is that the starting guards may be doing in the eyes of the coach that Kennedy's not doing for her not to start? Oh, oh I have no idea. I, I have no idea because when I look at their stat lines, Kennedy Kennedy has the starting stat line. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't say what it is unless it's something in in practice. Other than if they're <laughs> other than other than they they're they were there. Or, but, or, or, or says they, they, they were there. Is it one of those situations where where Spoon is saying, "Look, I don't have a bench. I, I need I need you I need you to be the spark you are off the bench." 
It doesn't matter if I'm a spark. It don't matter. It, it, it no, don't I'm agreeing with I'm just asking. Is that it, it, it doesn't matter if I'm four spark plugs and you got a six spark plug car. I'm not taking you nowhere. <laughs> I'm not taking you nowhere. You understand? <laughs> nowhere. Period. <laughs> okay, so. I mean, okay. Seriously, like, if you're going to keep putting me in a situation where it's like, okay, now we down 16. Go fix it, Kennedy. Now we down 20. Go fix it, Kennedy. Now we behind 12. Go fix it, Kennedy. Why? Why are you putting me in that situation when, when we could be up 10, when we could be up 12, and then you could stagger how you are, how you rotate Angel and Camilla out of the game so that one of us are always on the floor? Like, at this point, we're not deep enough for that. So we have to, we have to, we have to go and make some hard decisions, have some hard conversations, and tell people, hey, listen, you, you're not a starter here or – you're not, you're, or maybe not, you're not even going to be here. We're we're, move, we're moving off of you to bring in some other type of talent. This is a business, so you can't have feelings in this thing. You can't, you can't be like, oh, you know, you've been here. You know, it's not wait your turn here no more because everybody get a check. Okay, everybody, everybody, everybody gets a check. So, so here, so here's what I'm looking at. Uh, you know, I like to look at the lineups, lineup, lineup, lineup. So when you look at these lineups. Kennedy Carter is on the one, two, three, fourth lineup. So the lineup she's typically in for the most minutes is the Shields, Carter, Evans, Cardoso, and Reese. They play almost eight minutes a game. You ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready mm -hmm. for this? Mm -hmm. They average 22 points. Mm -hmm. The starting lineup. Of Williams, the Shields, Mabry, Evans, and Reese, almost twelve minutes. Guess how many points they average? Probably about fourteen. Twenty-one. That's not so bad. you have a higher average with the aforementioned lineup of the Shields, Carter, Evans, Cardoso, and Reese than the starting lineup. Seth, I acquiesce. I bow down. I see your point. I don't know. I can't make sense of it. Somebody somebody from the chat fam, I want to correct me if I'm wrong, says, put this lineup in the chat and said, this is my lineup for the sky. This is who we uh, should I be. I believe so. I, I yeah. would have to go back and look. I don't know. I, it'll come out eventually. I don't understand it. It's a fact right now that they average, and they're one and one with that lineup. Games played with that lineup. They're one and one with that lineup playing. No, no, one, no, no, it says one loss with that lineup. Was that mm -hmm. right? No, 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 one and one, one and one. No, one, one, one loss, one loss. I'm sorry. And that's probably because Cardoso came back. So that's how they do the. But I like that lineup, though. The Shields, Carter, Evans, Cardoso, and Reese. So, <laughs> and they're shooting 57% with that lineup. I don't like that lineup. You don't? No. Evans is still out there. Mm. Mm. I don't like the lineup. Okay, so who's your who's your starting five? I know we got to wrap up. Who's your starting five? If you, if probably, you Cardo have probably Cardoso, Reese, Carter, uh, Izzy, and I probably have to go with Mabry. You wouldn't start the Shields. The shields, I, I can't. I don't believe that the shields is healthy. The shields is the in and out every other game. She's sick. She's 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 hurt. She's sick. She's back. She's 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 sick. So for, for me, is if she's healthy, then she starts. If she if it's every other game, I don't need that right now because I'm trying to build consistency with two rookies that I'm trying to build around. Really? So I, I I need the consistency, you know. So the best of the best, you know, the best ability is availability. They say. You know, so I, you know, I love her. I love her better in leadership, but I need you to be. I need you to be in there. What you say, Seth? <laughs> Best ability is availability. I need you to be able to be when I call your name. You, you we need that on a short. Which you got a straight face like best ability. <laughs> I mean, that's the number one rule in the game. So, you know, for me, you know, it, it, you got to be. You got to be here, and I'm trying to build consistency. I got this is a young team. And this is a young team that can be something special very young. You know, they don't have to wait seven years into this thing. They can really make some noise right here. Uh, they're, they're, they're very special if you if if uh 
if we make the the the, the right moves around them, uh, they can make some noise really quickly in the in the East, especially. So uh, that, that, that's why I just say, you know, to me, I, I would I would get Kennedy in the starting lineup, and I would be looking to make some some moves as far as like trades or uh, just uh, free agent signings. I, you know, I would I would give Henny a try. You know, you maybe even run the Ace Fair in there, but you need you need somebody that. Kennedy is going to be that person that no matter what else, everything else falling falling down around you, she's going to get the basket. She's going to get the bucket or the, or, or the foul. I need somebody that I need somebody that can knock down the three, and then I work with everybody else that's out here. She's definitely a pit. She's a pit. She's so, an alpha pit out there. She can go for it. I'll that's, give her that. That's, that's a basket right there. Yeah. So I mean, I know you got to get, get ready to get out of here, Coach. That, that, that was uh, all, all we were able to get a chance to cover today. Anything you want to say before we get ready to go? Uh, just, uh, hey, chat fam, it's been great. Uh, thanks so much for the love, for the support. I still say, please keep supporting the show. Please keep supporting Seth. In my opinion, the hardest working sports cast person in the business. Again, you all just don't know what Seth does behind the scenes, and I'm not going to itemize it because we don't have time to go through it. <laughs> but it's a lot, and it's for y'all. So just know it's for y'all. Seth, always nothing but love. And, uh, VIP, 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 VIP. I'm telling y'all, get ready. <laughs> hey, y'all, make sure y'all are following at Official Coach Row on the social media platform. Appreciate y'all uh, uh, rocking with us, fam. Y'all know I love y'all to life. Uh, the, you know, another another one in the books. Um, can't wait to see what y'all what y'all think about this one. I'm being I'm gonna be in the chat for the for the comments for this one. Um, and, and you know what it is, y'all. It's your favorite our team with Uncle Tennessee's. Until next time, stay tuned. We'll talk soon, y'all. Keep hooping. We out. Yeah, holla.